Okay, I got it fixed. All right, so we've done the shovel and the... Now, I'm, I'm mimicking here, okay? And the reason why I'm mimicking, because it's much more easier to mimic some to mimic this than it is anything. Um, let me put... Let me put this up. I'm not going to use that just yet. And I still got some cobblestone. Good. All right, so as you see, the materials pretty much stayed now. What I'm going to do is, is I'm just basically going to fill this all in. Get in there. There we go. Alright, so we've got the... And I'm doing this on Pacific Order for a reason, okay? So then we have the sign, which is a one material cost. So we have the sign, okay? And then we have the pan, and we have the knife blade. The pan is worth one, and then the knife blade is cost of 0 0.5. So in actual essence, we can take this off. Uh, take this off put this back on and we're going to get a stone shard with a knife okay so uh, we're gonna get the knife okay but then we have the stone shard we're gonna set this over to the side for a reason okay alright and now the next thing we're gonna do is the broad axe and the sword pattern okay the broad axe itself cost eight but I've got sixty cobblestone sitting there so I'm gonna get the stones, the broad, the uh, uh, the stone broad axe head right away. Okay, so we'll put that back. The sword material is going to cost one, so we got one of those. All right. Now we're having to do this slowly because you don't want to repeat these patterns, and this is the reason why I'm setting it up like this. And I'm also showing you cost. Material cost one. Material cost eight. So from one to eight so far has been how it's going to roll. So I'm using all cobblestone because it is a the most cheapest material to get in your world. Um, you can make a cobblestone generator or you can go f uh, mining like I did. There's the scythe head, which the scythe head cost eight and the large blade cost eight. So as we go higher in the patterns and the bigger the pattern, the more it costs. So we have a stone hammer head, which cost eight. So the bigger it is, the more it costs. All right, so now we need to go down here to where it's the tool rod. Okay, the tool rod we're gonna get a rod, okay. This is gonna be kind of tricky too, because I I guess I could go. Hmm. Oh, we'll go like this. So we got the tool rod there, okay, and then we have the hand guard. Okay. Now the hand guard actually cost 0 0.5. Okay, so we actually can take that. Give me that. Okay, and put that in there, and we will get the hand guard. Okay, there's our hand guard. Remember, these stone shards count for something. So we'll put that back. Okay. Alright, next up is the tough binding pattern. That material cost is three. Well, we have that, so we're fine. Okay. So now I'm just going to start doubling because I want to get this over with quickly. So we have double. Alright, now, as you can see, this is cost of one. This is cost of 0.5. So if we take this out and we put one, it's not going to work. Why? Because this material took over first. So this is where we take the stone crossbow, put that down, then take that out, remove that. Okay, one. Oh, wait, hold on. My bad. It's actually supposed to go down here. Isn't it? Why isn't this not working now? Because it's supposed to work on everything. Okay. Am I confusing myself here? No, nothing. Weird. Because this worked just a few minutes ago. Because I had to delete everything. So fletching pattern. Why isn't the cost of the material is one? So if we sh we should be able to just basically grab it and go like that. Hmm. That's interesting. So does it mean the crossbow? Do we already have the crossbow? Yeah, we have the stone crossbow. This one is baffling me a little bit. Um, stone cost is going to be eight. Okay, there's our eight. This one's really baffled me. All right, then we have this one, which is going to be a cost of one. All right, then we have the chisel, which is going to be a cost of 0 0.05. So we're going to get one of those, and we're going to get one of those. All right. Now you can use the shift key, and it'll automatically go to your inventory. 
and we don't have any more materials, so we're gonna have to put this down here like this. All right, so we get we do get the stone, and we go ahead to put this back so we don't accidentally get another one. All right, and that was the one right here, so it's actually supposed to look like this. And we're gonna use this as our. Well, we might as well just go ahead and put it all together. Okay. Uh, no, we actually need to put that down here, don't we? Okay. So we just got done with the stone binding. See what I mean? How complicated it's going to get after a while? Alright, there's a stone guard wide. Okay. Take that one out. Take that out. Oh no, did it keep another one? Because I hit shift. Damn it, I hit shift. Oh, my bad. Okay, so then you get the bowstring. Which, again, I don't understand why this isn't working in the arrowhead unless there's a material base that I don't have that I'm supposed to have, which doesn't make any sense. So these last two I'm having problems with. I'll have to... The fletchling and the bowstring. Hmm. I wonder if you're supposed to have, like, a cotton or something. Maybe you're supposed to have a, a wool? How about we, no, you can't have, maybe paper? I don't know. Maybe, uh, do I have any? I don't think I have any paper. By the way, check this out. Your meteor shield protected your land from a meteor. Suck it, meteors! Yeah! Okay. I don't have any paper, so I don't think I can use that like that. Uh, I will have to figure that one out on my own. So, alright, so now, the next step is going to be pretty simple. Um, put this down here. So, when you built, when I built this, I was kind of confused on what to do. And basically, the concept is, for each level here, okay, so for each level, the higher you go up with this, the higher the level you can put in. Okay, so as you can see, I can put that much material in, and I'll get that much material melted. Okay, so you would basically uh, pour your lava into here, okay? And you just use a bucket, no big deal. It's not using these for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it should, though. That's the confusing part. Um, I may have to take those down. I don't know. So I, I put gold. I put all my gold ingots in here, and I got 36 uh, gold ingots that's melted. Now I could click this right here, and it poured into this uh, basin. Form it. Form. Blah, blah, blah. What is it called? Oh God, I can't remember. Um. Uh. Da, 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 da. Um. Let's see. Here. There we go. It is called the. It's not here. I know it's here though. It's called something. It's 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 for blocks basically. I'll remember what the name of it is someday. Uh, actually, you know what I could do? I could just you know this right here. Just pop it. There we go. All right. This is called the casting basin. Okay. So if you if I right clicked on here, all some of that gold would go in here and make a gold block. I don't want to do that. What I actually want to do is I actually want to take my material. We're going to move this up. We're going to move this up like here. We're going to put this here. And we might as well go ahead and put our food here too. Put our dent there. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go in this order. So, all right. Now, in the older versions from what I'm told, you could just go to the table with any metal over there, that table over there, and it would make a metal head or whatever you wanted but in the new version the updated version you have to actually make the item then put the item down in the table and then you either have to use gold or aluminum brass uh, ingots melt them down and then right click okay and that's gonna harden and what we're gonna get is a pickaxe head cast we'll get back our pickaxe and we're gonna get our shovel back too Okay. Pretty nifty, huh? Okay. So, now our next step is going to be... Whoops. Get back up there. We've got the battle sign and... No. Battle sign and we have the frying pan. So, we melt those. 
and any excess stuff you have you can turn it into a block you can't turn I haven't figured out how to get the um, this is why I wanted the patterns here I haven't been able to figure out how to get the um, I'll get it out in a minute how to get the holding tank but I'll figure that out later I need to get rid of these things somewhere let's see let's put them in here for now stone shovel got that one we got that one okay I'll just stick that in there for now too I need one of these I believe okay the book the book the torches my trusty dandy handy hook shot and then we'll just fill this whoops get over there I forgot I was in the damn thing okay all right so let's make some more moldings okay more 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 give me more now this will help me when I have to deal with those nasty ass dungeons I should make a lava pit where I can just burn this stuff uh, and give me a better advantage of what I've than what I've been doing right now all right I'm gonna take these two we'll throw them up top like this these, move these here, move these here, move that there. Okay. So our top portion will be with the things we have not done yet. Alright, and we still have the stone head. I think that was the one I didn't do, did I? Let me make sure. Nope, I have not done it yet. Okay. Alright, so we're going to keep pouring. And now, if you look here, I don't know what happened. Uh. That one's not done yet this one it may glitch on me if it glitches on me I'm gonna be kind of pissed could I put these up while I'm at it may glitch on me god I hope it doesn't that would suck entirely too much if it glitches really don't need it to and it just might yeah it's gonna glitch which means I may lose that piece right there too yep I'm gonna lose the piece too nope I got it back all right awesome okay so we're gonna put that back okay so did I use the stone binding yet tool binding okay so I've got that one done um, this is why it's so important to make sure you know where all your shit's at that's the new one, that one, that one, that one, that one, okay. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe this time we can get it done right. Okay, D stop that. Get in there. And melt. Yes. Alright, let's get these patterns in here. And this is pretty much what you're going to have to do. Broad axe. I'll straighten all these out later. I'll do a lot of this stuff off camera. That way you guys don't deal with it. But I want to show you all these things that you're doing. And you're like, whoa, where'd you get that from? Now, it's not over with yet. These are just the castings. You still have to do the other stuff, like melt the ingots. How bad are, how bad are we? Oh. Alright, guys, welcome back. And I have been busy trying to figure out how to get these last two going. I did, went ahead and had to go find some more gold. Ran out on the last two. And please, God, don't stop. So I did go get some more gold. As you can see, 76 ingots. Uh, was pretty damn lucky. Um, took me about 30 minutes. I went over in this general vicinity right here and found a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, well, not there, but it was like I, I mined from here to there. So, yeah. There's a tower over the water? Seriously? Damn, I didn't know that.
It looks like a boss tower, too. Have to go explore that. What is this? I didn't even know that was there. That's a graveyard. Was that the graveyard we've already explored? See, that's where the meteor hit. Right there at the house. I gotta go dig that up. I'll do that off camera, though. I don't want to do it on camera. Anyway, so I found some more gold. Um, bronze aluminum is very expensive to make, and it's good luck finding as much as you need to finish this off. So uh, we'll probably wind up having to pour some in here while we're at it. Okay, so to make this, uh, we and and I'll go with the bowstring one too. The bowstring uh, pattern required string. Go figure. But this pattern requires slime balls. Now, I don't know if I have any. May have to go find me a blue slime somewhere. I got... I gotta have some somewhere. There's gotta be some somewhere. Am I just missing it? I know I've got some somewhere. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Well, that was a screwed up plan. Let's try this again. Huh. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I think there may be some upstairs. Maybe in this one? Redstone doesn't work. I tried it. I thought I could get slicky. No. I'm going to have to make myself an organizing area sooner or later. I'm going to do that all that off camera. That's kind of boring for anybody to watch. Why is this not working? I don't even think that's gonna work. Oh, oh, that stopped me from. Oop, is it easy? Okay. There's one in. No, I don't think there's gonna be any in here. I think it's gonna be up upstairs. Unless I put some in here. I did take all of all of these furnaces out. They're just a real pain in my ass. There's a diamond in that one. What the fuck? Wow, I really gotta get myself organized. Alright, so there should be something up here. There's hexix up here. Son of a bitch, I gotta get those. I'm looking for... There we go. How much material is this gonna take? One. So I only need one. I'll take four, just for the safety sake. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. We'll do this the easy way. I got the easy button. Easy button. God damn it. Easy button. Alright, so all we gotta do is run back down here, and we will ha finally have all our uh, things done, which is awesome. Ah, perfect. No fall damage. Gotta love it. Alright, so we put it in here, and then we put our slime, and then we put that there. This was supposed to work. It said I could use it. Wiki, you lie! See, it says right here in the wiki, it says, The Fletchling is a material type added to Tinker's construction and creation of arrows. It requires a Fletchling pattern in the tool station or tool forge to craft, and can be made out of feathers, oak leaves, and green or blue slimes. It can only be made using vanilla Minecraft oak leaves. Attempting to use any other type of leaves will not work, even though ore directory has them in interchangeable. This is bullshit. So it says right here, says it right here, blue or green slimes, it's supposed to work. What the hell? What the hell? Cost of one, there's one, I don't understand. Why isn't this working? Oh, this is the last one too. Can I, do I have to do something special with these slimes? Do I have to make like a ball or something? No. This is bullshit. Why can I not get this to work? Slime is supposed to work. Slime is supposed to be able to... Okay. Can I cook the slime? Is that the reason why it's not working or something? No. Okay. Because <sighs> see, we got all the other ones done. Check it out. Booyah. I gotta clean them all up, though. So... Them all. It should be like this. I think I got them all. I better have them all. I'd be pissed if I don't. Yeah, see, we're missing one more. And it's this damn Fletchling one. And I don't know how to do it. Because it's not working. I guess I go get... Uh, do, I go, I, do I have enough iron? 
Oh, I sound so miserable when I say that, don't I? Oh god, do I have enough iron? I'll go find some freaking leaves. Yes, I have enough iron. I need three pieces. One, two, three. God, I gotta go find some more iron, too. Get this. Go make some damn shears. Oh, I only need two, that's right. Keep forgetting. Put that back in there. Oh, let's go to the... Alright, it says oak leaves are supposed to work. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Let's see, where can we go? Let's go to... The mine shaft has a whole bunch of oak trees. So we're gonna go there. Alright, get my shears. Okay. Any bad guys? And the world hasn't generated yet? What the fuck? There we go. Okay. That's two oak leaves. Okay. Better take one more just in case. Okay, I'll take four more. <coughs> Alright, so there's four of them right there. Is there anything in those? These chests? Cobblestone. Whoops. Whoa! That was close. That's a chocobo. Where's the chocobo at? Hello, chocobo! Where you at, chocobo? Oh, you're with the sheep. I figured out how what the males and females look like too, so that's pretty good too. All right, anyways, let's go back and see if we can get this done, cause I'm getting really pissed that we're not able to figure this out. And we are smart. I know we are smart, and I know we can do this, but for some reason it's just not allowing us. It's like we're material we're missing or something. I don't know. Oh, that was a dumb thing. Okay. Alright, let's try this one more time. So, there, and then we're supposed to put one there. Seriously? <sighs> get back. Just get your ass in there. Piece of junk. All this work. God dang it. I, got, I made a lava pit, too, while you guys were away. Jesus, I think it's bigger than the table. Uh, what? Wait, no. No, are you kidding me? You, 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 no. Are you saying you can't? Did I? No, it's still there. What the fuck? So you're saying I can't? You, I have to use those? <sighs> you guys suck. Making me do all this work. Fine, fine. Goes in there then. I'm not going to be able to make anything right now. Pour some more gold. See? Made myself a little nice little depository. Now, as long as I don't fall in it, we'll be okay. So, we're going to get rid of this. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. Because we don't need it. And, you know what? We're just going to get rid of all this stuff. Why? Because I'm a douche. And I really don't want this stuff hanging around. And yes, I know, I'm throwing away good material, but you know what? This shit has cost me an episode, so yes, I am pissed at it. So we're going to take revenge. Revenge is mine, saith white dragons. That's right, burn, burn, burn. Okay, we'll go ahead and get rid of this too. I want to keep this stuff. This stuff is important. Oh my god, you sneaky little bastard. You tried to hide. I saw you. You tried to hide. Get in there. And leaves. Go, go, go. I shouldn't have done that. Ah, I needed the material. Ugh. Don't you hate it when you do that? You're like, yeah, suck it. And then that happens. Are we still going to have too much? No, we're fine. So, alright, so I'm going to end the episode there with all these cuts up and things like that, and nothing really bad happened, but you did see, like I said before, where it said, showed where, uh, is it going to show? Can I go, uh, slash, down, is it down? Down page, is that what it is? No. Anyways, you saw earlier where it said it had protected us from a meteor, so I'm going to go off camera, I am going to go and make myself a nice pickaxe. I'm not going to use my diamond one up. And I'm going to go mine that, that meteor that's over here. 
maybe get some more uh, ruby thing out of it uh, ruby meteors and hopefully be able to charge that up to full power with that being at full power oh FYI when these things are lit these green thing these green torches it means the area is being protected by that thing right there so before I go and power it to full I will put the video back on and all that good stuff so I'm gonna clear this out thanks for watching as always likes and comments are greatly appreciated and if you have anything you need to help me out with or you may want to just slap me in the back of the head then by all means hit those comments and hit that like button or the dislike button it lets me know that you people didn't like it you know but what the fuck give me this crazy just crazy all right thanks guys bye